Overnight, LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers took down the Houston Rockets and are now headed to the Western Conference Finals. On the other side of the bracket, the Miami Heat sealed their ticket to Eastern Conference Finals earlier this week. For the first time since 2014, an all-star, Jimmy Butler, a big part of it, talking to Janae about life in the bubble. Janae, what's he saying? Well, so of course we talked about basketball, but we also talked social justice, an issue obviously personal for Jimmy Butler, not only as a black man, but a man who says he once had a police officer pull a gun on him and his friend. He says they done nothing wrong, simply fit the description of two black men in a car. What a pass by Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat have been on fire, lighting up the court, besting the number one seed Milwaukee Bucks four games to one. Clearing the way for their first trip to the Eastern Conference Finals since 2014 and Butler's first time ever. This season is big for you because it's your first time to the Eastern Conference Finals. What's it like? We expected this to happen. We expect to win a championship, we really do. Now that it's a definite possibility, you know, people, but you know what, maybe this Miami Heat team can do it. The NBA All-Star unfiltered as he talks playing in uncharted territory amidst COVID and turbulent times in the wake of civil unrest. I remember when I wasn't, you know, Jimmy Butler, the NBA player, and I, was, I was just another African-American male, and um, I was scared. Butler making a big statement in July after deciding not to wear one of the league approved social justice messages on the back of his jersey, opting instead to leave it blank. I wanted was to, to signify like I'm no different than anybody else. I'm still an African American male. I'm proud of that. As a basketball player, a lot of people tell you to just shut up and play, but these are issues that you can't separate. In my mind, in my heart, I'm doing what's right for my people all over so many communities. It's crazy to think that people can be mad for us standing up for that and for us having a, an opinion on that. I would never understand that, but I don't expect a lot of people to understand because you're not us. And if you were, you see it a little bit different. For Butler, the bubble has also been an opportunity for growth off the court, as the basketball player is also now a part-time barista. When I got here, I was like, you know what? Here's the perfect time to perfect the craft. 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a cup of coffee. Is it really worth it? You can say nothing bad about it until you try it and it will be $20. You couldn't hear it, but Eva just said, what? Yeah, my reaction exactly. 20 bucks for a cup of coffee. The Heat take on the Celtics Tuesday in game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. But one thing I really appreciated was his message that just because uh, you may know his name or recognize him, he doesn't want to be treated any differently. And that's why the fight for social justice is so personal for him. But yes, guys. 20 cups, that's 20 bucks say. for a couple he, cups. He doesn't want to be treated differently, but he will charge <laughs> Yeah, that's bucks. right. Well, he might just be <laughs> taking advantage of the bubble. Like, there he might not be another cup it. of coffee. Kind of <laughs> well, good things business. get desperate in the bubble. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.